Mtu Victor Odoyo anapokuja kutulisha neno katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Mtumishi wa Mungu, Mungu akubariki sana katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Bwana sifiwe. Uh, Ni saa saba, it's one. Imetimia saa saba. And I am really disturbed. Hata nasumbuleka. Because it is one and is when the, I want to teach the word of God. Imefika saa saba ndi unataka nifundishe neno la mungu. And what makes me to be disturbed again is when I see people living with their bags before hearing the word of God. Not that they don't fear God but because it is their time to live. So ya kwamba hawajamcha Mungu lakini wakati wao kutoka imefika. I have a word that God gave me. Neno lingine ambalo Mungu alinipa to tell the church. Ile ni mwambie kanisa but i wanted time to talk about it ambayo ningehitaji muda ninene juu yake but i don't see that time bali sioni hiyo muda so god will help us mungu atatusaidia father in the mighty name of jesus baba katika jina la yesu kristo we are gathered before you again tumesanyika mbele yako tena just to hear your word ili tusikie neno lako just to hear your voice tusikie sauti lako just to hear what you want us to know tusikie yale ambayo unahitaji tujue heavenly father mungu wetu wa mbinguni we have fallen short of your glory but we are being justified by faith through your word this day we commit into your heart even as we are going to hear your word lord i pray for the holy ghost to take over you know the desires of our hearts and you know what you have for this church we bless you name forever for in Jesus name we pray amen 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 uh, i will not take a lot of time uh, you will bear with me but we are going to hear what god wanted us to hear uh, I've been praying about today. Nimekuwa nikihomba juu ya siku ya leo. And uh, God spoke to me of what I should tell you. Naye Mungu alina nami kwa yale ambayo nastahili nikuambie. And that is what I am standing here to do. Na hii ndio sababu nimesimama hapa na nitaitanya. There is something which is called a crack. Ah, kuna kitu ambayo imepasuka. A crack. Kitu ambayo imepasuka. And that is what we are going to talk about. Na hiyo ndio mada ambayo tutanena juu yake. Then we are going to talk about Jesus who can fix that crack. Naye baadaye tanena juu ya Yesu Kristo ambaye anaweza kuunganisha pale imepasuka. The word that the Lord told me to tell the church is that we have Jesus who fixes cracks. Neno ambayo Mungu aliniambia kwamba tunaye Yesu anayeunganisha yale ambayo imepasuka. And I was wondering why is God telling me to talk about Jesus who can fix a crack? Nilisangaswa ni kwa nini Mungu ananiambia kwamba nene juu ya Yesu Kristo ambaye anaweza unganisha pale imepasuka. Because it's a word that I've never heard anywhere being preached or being taught. Sababu ni neno ambayo sijai sikia mahali popote ikifundishwa ama inapohubiriwa. But that is the word that you want to talk about. Hii ndio neno ambayo tanena juu yake. So when we talk of a crack, tunaponena juu au mahali imepasuka. We talk over line 
on a surface of something it is a line on a surface of something along which it has a split without breaking apart ambayo imepasuka pasipo kukua na sehemu yake zingine kupasuka i know we all of us have phones ya kwamba sisi wote tuna simu and the majority of us have smartphones wengi wetu wanayo simu ya rununu ya smartphone and one way or another you've encountered a crack in your phone kwa njia moja ama nyingine pingine umekutana na simu yako kama imepasuka Uh, when we talk of a crack we talk of something or a line which runs across a, 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 a surface but it will not it, it, it can't break that surface into two Ah uh, tunaponena ya mali ambayo imepasuka tunazungumza juu ya laini ambayo liko juu ya chombo lakini haiwezi ikapasua le chombo mara mbili Then we can also say that it is a break pia tunaweza sema ya kwamba ni mahali pasuko or to break or cause to break without a complete separation of parts kama ni kuvunja pasipo kuitawanyesha mara mbili that is what we call a crack hiyo ndio tunaita pasuko then when we talk of a fix or to fix something pia tunaponena juu ya kuunganisha we talk of to fasten something securely in a particular position kuirekebisha ama kuirudisha kitu katika mahali sehemu yake and we also speak of to decide or settle on course of action or a specific thing ama tunanena juu ya kuitengeneza kitu katika hali yake so when god is speaking of a crack which needs to be fixed Mungu anaponena juu ya kitu ambayo imepasuka ambayo inastahili iunganiswe tena. He's talk, not talking of a glass on a wall. Sio ya kwamba ni ile kioo iliko kwa ukuta. And it's not talking of a wall that has cracked from up to down. Sio ya kwamba ni ukuta ambayo imepasuka kutoka juu hadi chini. But God is speaking to this church. Naye Mungu ananena na kanisa hii. And what he's saying in this church is that there is a crack in the church yala mana nena juu ya kanisa ya kuomba kuna pale limepasuka kwa kanisa and is only jesus who can fix that crack hai ni yesu kristo ndiye anaweza unganisha mahali limepasuka a christian life the life of a christian katika maisha ya mkristo is like a cell phone that i was speaking about ni kama simu ya rununu niliyo nena juu yake like this phone that i am holding this is my phone kama hii simu ambayo nimeshika ni yangu the phone can look lively and it can look good when it is still very new hii simu inaweza onekana mzuri kama bado ni mpya but with the time it wears out at become uh, not as new as it was when you bought it jinsi wakati nilelea itakuwa imeseeka na itaonekana mpya jinsi ulivyoinunua also at time it can accidentally fall and break na kwa wakati inaweza anguka na ipasuke and when it falls maybe it can be a small crack at the edge of your phone pingine inaweza kuwa na mali imepasuka kidogo kando la simu yako but with time that crack will go across the phone but you will still be using your phone na vile wakati ndelea lile mali pasuka itaendelea na endelea na bado unaitumia simu yako with time it will reach a point that you can no longer use your phone because there will be some particles of glass that will be falling from your phone jinsi wakati ndelea itafika wakati ambao utaitumia simu yako kwa sababu kuna sehemu nyingine ambayo itapasuka kio ambayo inaweza umiza mkono yako God is speaking to his people who are called by his name Mungu ananena na watu wake wanaoitwa kwa jina lake And God is speaking to his church which is you and me who is seated here Naye Mungu ananena na kanisa lake ambayo ni wewe na mimi ambayo tumeketi malaka And he's talking of a crack that can be in one's life in the church naye ananena juu ya mahali mepasuka ambayo inaweza kuwa katikati ya kanisa you are still in the foundation which is the word of god but you have a crack 
bado uko katika mzingi ambayo ni neno la Mungu lakini uko na pale imepasuka It's something that somebody can see that people can see and people can talk about Jamba ambayo mtu anaweza ona na watu wanene juu yake It is a point of your weakness that everyone knows Wakao umepika udhaifu wako ambao kila mmoja anajua It's something that everyone can identify and say that there is a crack in your life Ni kitu ambaye kila mmoja anaweza tambua na sema ya kwamba kuna pale imepasuka maisha yako Praise the Lord Bwana asifiwe A crack pale imepasuka Let us read from the book of Colossians chapter 3. Tusome kitabu cha Wakolosai 3. Colossians chapter 3. Wakolosai 3. Colossians chapter 3. Tunasoma katika kitabu cha Wakolosai mlango wa 3. And then we are going to read uh, Matthew chapter 5 verses 13. Baadaye tutasoma Mathayo 5 aya ndogo 13. I was waiting for a reader. Bado nasubiri msomaji. If we have one. Kama tunaye yule ambaye atasoma. If we have one. Kama tunaye moja. If we don't have then I will read. Kama tuna msomaji baadaye mimi Nitasoma. The Bible says in the book of Colossians chapter 3 3 The Bible says For you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God When Christ who is our life appears then you also will appear with him in glory So so kill the the evil desire lacking in your members Sex, <coughs> sexual vice impurity sensual appetites and holy desires and all greed and covetousness for the for that is idolatry It is on account of these that the anger of God is ever coming upon the sons of disobedience among whom you also once walked when you were living in an addicted to but now put away and ride yourselves of all these things anger rage bad feelings toward others curses and slander and full mouthed full mouthed abuse and shameful utterances utterances from your lips Do not lie to one another for you have stripped off the old self with its evil practices. Amen. You can leave it at that. Yes, Paul is talking to the Colossians. Paulo ananena na wakolosai. This is a church that he labored uh, for them to know Christ. Hii ni eh, kanisa ambapo Paulo alifanya kazi kwa ajili yao ili wajue Kristo. And he is telling the church if you start from 3 verses 1 he saying that you then if you then be risen with Christ seek those things that are above. Na anamwambia uh, kanisa ya kwamba mkikufa na Kristo na baadaye mtafufuka naye Seek the things that are above not things that are in this world. Mwitafute viti liyo juu mbinguni sio vitu ya ulimwengu. Where Christ is seated on the right hand of God. Pale Kristo ameketi katika mkono wa kulia wake Bwana. Set your affections on things above not on things on the earth. Weke macho yenu kwa vitu liyo juu sio vitu liyo hapa ulimwengu. For you are dead and your life is hid with Christ in God. Sababu nyinyi mmekufa na maisha yenu imefichwa pamoja na Kristo. God 
God is reminding the Colossians that they are not ordinary people. Mungu anakumbusha kanisa la Kolosai kwamba sio watu wa kawaida. They are people who have known God and have tasted the good things that comes with knowing God. Ni watu ambao wanajua Mungu na wamejaribu vitu naye toka kwake Bwana. And is reminding them that they were once dead but now they are alive because they know God. Na anakumbusha ya kwamba kuna wakati walikufa lakini sasa hivi wako wazima kwa sababu wanawatambua Mungu. They were dead because they were sinners, they disobeyed the word of God. Walikufa kwa sababu walikuwa wametenda dhambi wali hawakuamcha neno la Mungu. He is telling them that they are now they are now alive because the life they have is the life of God. Ambaye kwamba sasa wako wazima kwa sababu uzima walio nao ni uzima wake Bwana. But there is something very important that we want to understand in verses 5. Kuna jambo ya muhimu ambayo tunataka tusikie katika mstari wa 5. And he's telling them that mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth. Naye anawaambia kwamba kwa hivyo kwa neneni kabisa chochote kilicho ndani yenu cha asili ya kidunia. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. There are certain things that can cause crack in one's life. Kuna vitu singine ambaye inaweza fanya mwili ya mtu lipasike maisha mtu pashike. We walk in the church but you have a crack in your life. Natembea kama kanisa lakini unaye mahali pasuka maishani mwako. There is a crack that people can see. Naye mahali pasuka ambayo watu wanaweza kuona. And there is a crack that people can talk about. Naye kuna mahali ambayo imepasuka ambayo watu wananeza There is kind of things in your life that people can say that there is something wrong with you. Vitu maishani mwako ambayo watu wanaweza sema ya kwamba kuna kitu mbaya juu yako. So apart from them knowing God, Paul was reminding them to remove every crack in their life. Kando nao wakujua Mungu Paulo anamwambia kwamba watoe mahali popote mpasiko maishani mwako. And even if they were coming to church, there were still things that could be counted and clean and unworthy in their lives. Hata kama walikuwa wanakuja kanisani lakini kuna vitu ambavyo ikuwa safi ambavyo ingeweza kuhesabiwa ndani ya maisha yao. He was telling them to remove those things out of their lives. Hai alikuwa anawaambia kwamba waondoe hayo yote maisha And one of the things Paul was talking about is fornication. Na moja wapo ambayo Paulo alikuwa ananena juu yao is fornication. Uzinzi. Praise the Lord. Amen. That is what Paul was talking about. Moja wapo Paulo anena juu yake. And one of the cracks that we have in our lives that we have in the church is what is called fornication. Na moja wapo ya vita ambayo tunayo maishani mwetu ama kanisani ni moja wapo ya uzinzi. And another one that we are going to talk about is uncleanliness. Na moja wao ambayo tutanena juu yao kwamba ya kwamba kukua sio safi. Praise the Lord. Amen. There is a crack of fornication. Kunai mahali mpasuka ambayo inaitwa uzinzi. That we are in church and is something that can be talked about in someone's life. Tuko kanisani lakini kuna jambo ambayo iko ndani ya maisha ya mtu ambaye anaweza naenda juu yake. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. There is something that God was showing me. Kuna jambo ambayo Mungu alinionyesha. And we have to come out of it. Because God has good plans for us. And God has good words for us. And God is our father. And God really loves us. As Paul was telling the Colossians. So is God reminding us this day in this church. That we need to put out of our life fornication adultery anything unclean in our lives wache mambo ya uzinsi maishani mwetu na viti mbaya staili katika maisha yetu god cannot dwell where there are fornicators mungu awesi dumu pale kunzin and i will speak about it because it's something that i was told nitanena juu yake kwa sababu ni jambo ambayo niliwaambia praise the lord bwana asifiwe There is a crack in our life. Naye mahali imepasuka maisha yetu. And it's a point of weakness. 
Naye kuna maale ya dhambi. That we have to come out of it. Bayo lazima tutoke nje. He's talking about uncleanliness. Ananena juu ya uchafu kati yetu. We are coming to church but we are unclean. Tunakuja kanisani lakini tuko safi. We are in a church where the things that we speak against our brothers nobody can want to hear. Tuko kanisani lakini kuna vita ambayo tunanena juu ya mwandugu zetu hakuna yule angependa kusikia. We speak of things that are not helping or making someone to grow in faith but things that can make him run out of church. Nena juu ya vita ambayo wewe usifanya mtu akwe katika imani lakini vita ambayo inafanya mtu atoroke kanisa. When you see someone who is not born again who has not reached the level of faith that you've reached you condemn him because of the things that he's doing. Ukiona mtu ambaye hajakoka ambaye hajawe kuwa katika hali ya juu ya ukovu unayumkumu mpaka inafanya na toroka. But there is something that we want to know about God. Naye vita ambayo inastahili tujue kuhusu Mungu. Is that the Lord that we serve is a loving God? Ya kwamba Mungu ambaye tunatumikia ni Mungu ambaye ni waupendo. And the love that he has for us made him to send his son and to die for all of us. Penda ambaye juu yetu ilifanya atoe mwanao kipekee ila kufe The desire of God is that all of us to live a holy a holy life. Taminio ya Jehova Mungu ya kwamba sisi wote tukue katika maisha ya utakatifu. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. He saying that people should come out of idolatry. Ana kusema ya kwamba watu wanastahili watoke na waache mambo ya uzinzi. Idolatry. Ma, ma, amen. Kumwabudu sanamu. Praise the Lord. There are many things that we are doing in church. Kunae mambo mingi tunafanya kanisani. They are not pleasing to God. There are things that you are doing in your life. Kuna vitu unaifanya maisha yako. They are not pleasing to God. Ambaye haimpendezi Mungu. Praise the Lord. Amen. You know how you walk with the word of God. Unajua jinsi unatembea na neno la Mungu. Praise the Lord. Amen. But God wants us to walk as he want as he has, the way he has made us to walk. Nae Mungu anataka tutembee katika njia ambayo ametuumba ili tutembee. There is a way that God has ordained. Kuna njia ambayo Mungu ametia and we need to walk in that way. Na inastahili tutembee katika njia hiyo. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. But we don't walk that way. Lakini hatutembee katika njia hiyo. Because we have cracks. Sababu tunaye mahali pasuka. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. We are walking and we have cracks. Tunatembea lakini mahali kuna pasuka mbele. You are coming to church and you have cracks of sin. Ah, unakuja kanisani lakini mahali imepashuka ya dhambi liko kwako. Praise the Lord. Nitire gik mobaro rengi mani. Kuna vitu imepasuka maisha yako. Wa uoto gigik mobaro re. Tunatembea na viti iliyo pasuka. Ngima mwadake en ngima mariki kumobaro re. Ah, maisha ambayo tunaishi ni maisha ya vitu ambayo imepasuka. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kai nyio ngima ma in God. Ukiangalia maisha ulionayo. Don't you know kai this is not the salvation what rock money in God. Na unaona ya kwamba si uokovu uliokuwa nayo. We have walked many days with the word of God. Tumetembea siku mingi na neno la Mungu. And life has been so hard on us. Naye maisha imekuwa ngumu kwetu. And life has become unbearable for most of us. Hata maisha ambayo tunayo sisi wengi hata hatujapenda. And many of us have wondered and have asked questions about even the existence of God. Wengi wanashangana wanaulisa kama kuna Mungu ambaye inakuwa. And things have become that are always ready to break us down. Nae kuna vita ambayo yuko tayari ili tuangushe chini. Praise the Lord. Amen. And those things has made us to come out of the word of God and just to walk without the word of God. Nae kuna vita ambayo imetokeza ambayo inafanya tusitembee kwa njia ya, ya neno la Mungu. So we come to church and we pretend that we are godly yet outside the church we are doing things that are not godly. 
ya kwamba tunatembea tunakuja kwa kanisa na tunafanya kwamba tunapenda Mungu lakini yale ambayo tunafanya hawinyesi kabisa We come to church on Sunday we pray we have one another we do things in the church we give to God but outside the church we are other people not portraying the word of God Tunakuja kanisani tunaomba tunapendana wengine wengine lakini yale pale nje yale tunaifanya haipendezi Mungu But God is looking at us where he is and saying that this people are not deceiving me but they are deceiving themselves Mungu anaangalia kanisa na anasema ya kwamba hao watu sio kwamba wananipendeza lakini wanafanya mambo mabaya juu yao Sai duaroni kanisa ne obed kanisa maler ba uoto eler Mungu anataka kanisa lake iwe kanisa takatifu unayetembea katika Na sai duaroni kanisa ne obed kanisa maler matimo gikmanya sai duaro Kanisa ambayo anatembea katika ale utakatifu anafanya yale Mungu anataka Na sai duaroni kanisa ne obed ler tokune gobed mudo Mungu anataka kanisa lake iwe mwanga lakini sio giza Mama wacho ni we are the light of the world Iko anasema ya kwamba sisi ndio mwanga nuru ya ulimwengu. Oh wacho ni dala mogerie goto knyal pondo katamati. Ile bomba limejengwa juu ya mlima wese kwa nguvu hata kidogo. Taya muketie we got neno gikama bor. Taya ndio wekwe juu ya mlima inaonekana mbaya. Our life should speak the word of God all the time. Maisha yetu inastahili neno neno la Mungu wakati wote. How I live with my children with my family with my neighbors should portray the love of God in my life. Sisi naishi na watoto wangu na familia yangu inastahili onyeshe upendo wa Mungu. Wangu dogo na nyasai. Amen. There is something God is seeing which is not right in us. Kunai kitu ambayo Mungu anaona ambayo sio kweli kwetu. Wa uondore uonda mbele ya nyasai to kwa team geek manyasai duaro. Unajidanganya mbele ya Mungu lakini atufanye yale Mungu anataka. Nyasai oken dhano adiniwa to wacho ni wadi mabeka kwa dhima be Mungu sio binadamu atatuangalia na sema yakoma tuna lebe vizuri na when God is saying that we have cracks we have cracks that we need to fix Mungu kama anasema yakoma tunaye mali imepasuka kwa kika tunaye mali imepasuka inasema Kanya saini no ningi mama dakie ni nitire gi mobarore maduaro ni mondo losi tunega ie mondo los ngima nalo Mungu anataka yakoma maisha ambayo naishi kuna kitu imepasuka maisha yangu inastahili Kimo paro reo kinyale tio banda lo mapo kitu ambaye imepasuka itafanya kasi baada ya waruo kuma cosmetic kinyalo wotu goto banda lo matin kende ukova ambaye imepasuka unaweza tembea kwa muda mchache but if you have the true salvation which is the love of god you will go far kama uko na ukovu ya kweli utaenda mbele duongo ndio kuna nyasai amen we are not ordinary people sisi sio watu wa kawaida. Wana nyitindi nyasai manyasai ose walo. Ni wana wa Mungu ambao Mungu amewateua. Koronya kangima ma wadaki unyishi ni wana ngima mwar. Maisha ambayo tunaishi lazima nyasa kwamba ni sisi tumiokoka. Angumi wa huo toto wa uondore. Kwa nini tunatembea na tunajidanganya? Ingeyenge ni ukiero wadu. Ingeyo. Unajua ya kwamba hujapenda mwenzako. Ingeyenge ni mato jasiki bingeyo. Unajua ya kwamba huyu ni mwadui wako unajua. And then you are in the same church and you pretend that you are going to heaven. Mungu dog nenya sai. God is seeing a crack in your life. Mungu anaona mali pasuka maisha yako. There is a crack. Kuna mali pasuka. There is a crack. Kuna pali pasuka. Tonya kai dog chieni ngima ni. Asimu rudi maisha yako. Nenye ni to ena ngomo baro reni. Na ujue ya kwamba ni nini ambaye imepasuka. Na kataka uoto goto beji neno beji yongeo beji uwe. Nikitembea watu wanajua wananena juu yake. Kata mane kanisa beji nyeyo ni mano to kiti, mano to gimoloi, mano to gimi uoto go, mano to ngol main go. Hata kama kanishani watu wanajua kwamba wewe tabia yako ni ile ule mavu uko nayo. Nyasai duaro ni mondo wa uoto ngima machalo kode. Mungu anataka tutembee katika maisha ambayo yanafanana na yake. Nyasai duaro ni kine na tineno Kristo ngima na. Mungu anataka ukionekana na Kristo ngima. Kitu nyisho ni ana ngatmoa 
Tabaka Mutuku Munga and Mekana Maneka Nisa Manya Sidewar. Who do you can Nisa by Munga and Attacker? Maneka Nisa Mawu talking your side. You can Nisa on a Tembe and a Mungu. Maneka Nisa Madum in your side in Tiri. Nisa about to Kuwa Mungu Yupo. Do a dog in your side. Amen. Sese moko ise uoto. Wakati umetembea. Mise kale jiki moko matoto. Umepitia mingi. You've been wandering in the desert. Na hata unashangaa katika jangwani. You've been wandering in the wilderness. Unashangaa katika jangwani. You are tired and you are weary. Umechoka kabisa. You have lost friends and finances and even relatives. Hata umepoteza marapiki yata fedha na jamii. And you are tired and you don't know how long you will still stand. Na umechoka na ujui ni muda gani utateseka. Mungu ndio unanyasai. Ani tiere ka munda watch nini nya search wani tie. Niko mali hapo ni kuambia Mungu yetu yupo. Oko nyiso ni ngomo se baro rengi mani. Yanisi nini mpasuka maisha yako. Oko nyiso ni ngomo mani ni se uotoko. Yanisi umetembea na ulevu gani. Oko nyiso ni ngima ni se chalo nade. Hata kama maisha yako imekuwa. Oko nyiso ni jio se uoyo kuo mi machalo nade. Yanisi watu wamenena juu yako kiasi gani. Beri ni jise uoyo kodo ngomo momaka. Hata kama wamenena juu ya ule mawe. Beri ni jise uoyo kuo mgi mbaro rengi mana. Hata kwa kita wewe pasuka maisha yako adira adira kimaji watu kuo manotoke ni miriambo hakika yale wananena juu yako sio uongo niketikata anbende ya ngeyo ni gino ena jira hata mimi pia najua ni ukwili toka uono ni tira ina saema ni giteko leo kunai mungu liye na nguvu duongo dog na jehova amen o watu ni ene moloso ene mofit ene moduoko kamoro kakamoro mose barore nasema ya kuomba ni yena natengenesa anarejesa anaunganisa popote imepasuka duongo dog na jehova Muma uoye muma marijo wana boro matinda chia Niko ina nena katika kitabu ya wana nane Uwoyo kwa muma mamoro machia ngora chia luna yudi Na nena jia mama fulane mba siku moja lipatikana Kane tero reko ni ndugu moro mane yoko nyiswa ya muma Nipo fanyo zinzi na ndugu fulane ya tuku tajyo jina laka Muma wacho ni jodolo na umake motere kama yesu na nitie Nika nasema wakwane wale mshika wakapereka pali yesu wale yoko And the reason why they are doing that was to test Jesus na jawabu wa sababu mbae walifanya iwe ili wajaribu yesu Legidu waro ni mondo ugimaki yesu kwa muweche ma yesu wacho Walikuwa wataka wa shike yesu kwa hele manena na kaya Tonegidi maginyise ni rabi ya puon Mama ni no yudu katero rerando Walimuambea kwa mwalimu huyu mama alipatekana kipanya usiku wazi Tochiku Musa wacho ni jalmo yudu kama Ichilo gikite kendo to Serea Musa nasema ya kwa mba muta kipatekana hivi anapigwa ya mawe Nitoi wacha ngo kwa mwachno Ewe nasema nini juu Tuangodo kwenye nyasi. Amen. Nitirese chomo kumaji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu wamenena juu yako. Oh, maji usewuyo kumi. Kuna wakati mwingine watu of these people to where Jesus was. Naskuru urawa munga liongosa mgu ya watu ili wapereka pali yeso li. Angeni kade gitere kumjo nabi moko gijo dolo moko gijo utele mo moko tojo godo nege gikite. Ama angeli pereko kwa nabi na wakwani na watu wengine wange mua kwa mawi. Nikesh jogo onge giteko onge gilocho onge girieko marloso kamo barore. Wa sababu hawa wana ngufu na ate kima ya kutengenesa pali mepasuka. Sone girie yo kama. Ama Yesu ni tire Jasae maratego uwa nangema Mane gilochi giteke wiki kumoko duto te Wani elekea pali Yesu yuko wako nangufu na malaka juu ya mambo yote Kimane yoki ngeo ni Yesu mane gitero mama no ile Ene ngati maduwa rore Mondo fix all our cracks 
Jamba ba Mungu anataka tufanye kama kanisa tukwe wativu katika God wali. wants all of us to obey his word. Sisi wote tutii neno lake. God wants all of us to obey his instructions. Sisi wote Mungu anataka God wants all of us to walk in his principles and statutes. Mungu anataka sisi wote tutembe katika God wants to walk with us to live with us to stay with us and to move with us. Mungu anataka aishi pamoja nasi atembe pamoja nasi kila pale. He is looking for those who have clean hands. Anaangalia watu ambao wako na moyo safi. And he is looking for those people who have clean hearts. Atafuta wale wako na moyo safi. He is looking for the pure who are pure in their hearts. Anatafuta wale ambao wako safi katika moyo wao. Those people who have chosen obedience over everything else in their lives. Wale wamechagua kutii neno la Mungu kuhusu kidu yao. Those people who have purpose to follow God and to follow God and to follow God alone. Watu ambao wako na kushuhudi ya kufuata Mungu na kufuata Mungu peke Those people who have decided that they will not walk in sin. They will not stay in sin. They will not drink sin. They will not comprehend anything about sin, but they will walk in holiness. Watu ambao wameamua katika maisha yao ya kwamba hawatatembea katika dhambi, waishi katika dhambi lakini watatembea katika ale utakatifu. God is looking for people who can decide the way Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego decided and they said that does not matter what the king wants to do with us. One thing that remain for sure Sure, we will not bow to any statute and to any god Mungu anatafuta watu ambao wameamua kama Shadrach na Meshach na Abednego ambao waliamua kwamba haijalishi ya kwamba mfalme ameweka nini lakini kitu ambacho tunajua kwamba tutalitii Mungu wetu We have cracks because we have allowed ourselves to bow to the gods of this world Tunai mali pasua kwa sababu tumeruhusu sisi wenyewe ili tunamie ili miungu We have compromised our salvation and our stand with God. Tatumeshangazwa na uokovu wetu pamoja na jinsi tumesimama na Mungu wetu. We have allowed the things of the world to corrupt the salvation that we receive from God. Tumeruhusu vita ulimwengu ili ingekuwa katika uokovu ili Mungu asionekane. But God is reminding his church this morning. Mungu anakumbusha kanisa hii asubuhi hii. That he is still the same God who saved your life. Kwamba yeye ni Mungu yule aliyokoa maisha. He can still fix that thing that has broken in your life. Bado anaweza unganisha yale ambayo yamevunjika maisha yako. He can fix that family that is breaking up. Bado anaweza unganisha familia ambayo wametawanyika. He can fix that marriage that is going apart. Hata ile ndoa ambayo inaenda kando. He can fix that woman, he can fix that man, he can fix that lady. Hata ule mwanamke ama ule mama ambaye ameenda kando. Because he his God and there is no other God besides him. Sababu yeye ni Mungu na kuna Mungu mwingine kando lake. He is looking for those who will throw the caution in the air and in the wind and trust him. Anatafuta watu Amen. He is looking for those people who will throw caution to the wind and trust him. Anatafuta watu ambao wametumainia. He is looking for people who will say I don't care what is going to happen to me but I want to trust God. Anatafuta watu ambao hawajali ya kwamba nini ambayo itafanyika lakini wanatumainia. He is looking for a church who will say it does not matter what people say but I will trust this God. Anatazama kanisa ambalo linasema haijalishi watu wanasema nini nami nitamtumainia huyo. He is looking for the individual who will say it does not matter where people are going but i will only trust god anamtazama binadamu ambaye anasema haijalishi watu wanaenda wapi nami nitamtumainia mungu i will not follow the public opinion but i will trust only in god sitafuata yale ambao watu wanasema bali nitatumainia mungu i will not follow the doctrine of our religion but i will only follow what god wants me to follow sitafuata sheria ya dini yangu bali nitafuata sheria ya bwana yesu god is looking for people who have resolved in their hearts bwana anatazama wale He is looking for a church who has resolved. That what we are going to tell our people is the word of God and the word of God alone. He is looking for a church who is going to say that what we are going to do is the will of God and the will of God alone. He is telling all of us to let go and trust him 
and him alone. Anatueleza wote tubaki na tuamini kwake binafsi. He is telling us to let it go and to trust him with our heart. Anatueleza tuwaacha yapite na tumwamini kwa roho yetu. He is telling the church to let it go and to trust that he is God and he is able. Anaeleza kanisa wasahau na muamini kwa sababu yeye ni Mungu na He is telling the church that you let all of it go and to trust him alone. Anaeleza kanisa wasahau yaliyopita na mtumania yeye pekee. Not matter the crack you have. Haijalishi nyufa uliyo. It does not matter the disappointment you have had. Haijalishi damu uliyoingia uliyo. It does not matter what people have said. Haijalishi kile watu wamesema. But one thing that remain for sure. Na jambo ambalo linabaki kwa kweli. Is that our God is a faithful God. Kwa Mungu wetu ni Mungu mwaminifu. And he saying that he is ready to fix everything that has been bothering your life. Tena amesema amejiandaa kutengeza chochote ambacho linakusumbua maisha. What you need to go as a believer. Ni nini ambaye anaweza kukufungua? What you need to do as a child of God. Kile ambacho unataka kufanya kama mtu wa Mungu. What you need to do as a child of God. Kile kitu ambacho unataka kufanya kama kanisa la Mungu. Is to trust in the holiness of God. Ni Kristo ambaye ni watakatifu wa Mungu. I say that I will not sin again. Anasema sitafanya dhambi tena. I will not be lured to sin. Sitarushwa kwa dhambi tena. I will not be lured to what the world has. Sitafurushwa kwa kile kitu ulimwenguni. I will just trust in him. Nitatumaini kwake. I will only Trust in the name of God. Nitatumaini kwa jina la Mungu. Trust him with all your heart. Muamini kwa roho wako wote. Give him all your heart. Mpero wako wote. For he is God and is our Father. Sababu yeye ni Mungu na yeye ni Baba wetu. God is preparing all of us. Mwana anatuja anatuandaa wote. He is preparing all of us to be a beacon of light. Anatuandaa ili tuwe mwaliko wa usima. He is preparing this church to be a beacon of life and hope. Anatengeneza ili kanisa ili wawe mwangaza wa usima na tumaini. He is preparing this church to be a beacon of light and hope. Anatengeneza kanisa ili ili wakuwe na uzima na hope. Oh, this world needs light and this world needs hope. Ulimwengu inataka uzima na inataka matumaini. This world needs hope and this world needs light. Utumai ulimwengu inataka tumaini na uzima. God wants us to be the light of this world. Bwana anataka tuwe mwangaza ulimwengu. God wants us to give hope to this world. Anataka tupeane tumaini kwa ulimwengu. God wants us to give hope to the hopeless. Anataka tupeane matumaini kwa wale wana God needs us to give light to the people in darkness. Bwana anataka tupeane mwangaza kwa walio kwenye kisa. For God is our light. Bwana ni mwangaza wetu. For God is our hope. Bwana ni tumaini wetu. For God is our strength. Bwana ni nguvu yetu. For we depend on his power. Tuna tumaini kwa nguvu yake. For we depend on his mercy. Tuna tumaini kwa utakatifu wake. He is God. Yeye ni Bwana. This world needs Jesus. Hili ulimwengu linahitaji wangaza wake. Our families need Jesus. Familia yetu wanahitaji Mungu. Our homes need Jesus. Maboma yetu wanahitaji Mungu. Our children need Jesus. Watoto wetu wanamtaji Mungu. God has brought us here to be that beacon of hope to them. Bwana ametuleta hapa ili tuwe chombo cha imani. We cannot be a beacon of hope if we also have cracks in our life. Hauwezi kuwa chombo cha matumaini kama una nyufa maishani mwako. We cannot be beacons of hope if we have differences in our midst. Hauwezi kuwa chombo cha tumaini kama hatuna maelewano katika jamii. We yetu. cannot be beacon of hope to this hurting world if we have strife in our midst. Hatuwezi kuwa chombo cha imani kama hatuna Kristo moyoni mwetu. God is a church which is united towards the mission of God. Bwana anataka kanisa waliosimama pamoja kwa neno lake. God wants an individual who has decided that no matter what I am going to follow Christ. Bwana anataka mtu binafsi ambaye anasema hata iwe nini nitamfuata Kristo. God is looking for a church. He's looking for the praise and worship. He's looking at the elders. He's looking at the children Baba, people who have God. Bwana anatazama watoto, anatazama wana sifa, anatazama kanisa wale ambao wanamwamini Bwana. We want to pray. Tunataka tuombe. We want to pray to that God. Tunataka tuombe kwa Mungu huyo. We want to pray to that Jesus. Tunataka tuombe kwa huyo Mungu. We want to pray to him. Tunataka tuombe. The Bible says in the book of Luke 1 verses 30 to 33. Agano inasema katika kitabu cha Luka 
mlango wa tatu wa mstari wa 30 in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu kristo the bible talks of something then we pray baadaye ninazungumzia kitu baadaye tunaomba he's talking of jesus the savior anazungumzia yesu mwokozi he's talking of jesus who was before the foundations of this world anazungumzia yesu ambaye alikuepo kabla ulimwengu kuumbwa he's talking of jesus who is alive with us today anazungumzia yesu ambaye yuko nasi hapa leo in the book of luke chapter 1 verses 30 to 33 The Bible says this. Agano linasema katika kitabu cha Luka. And then you said unto her, Fear not Mary for you have found favor with God. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. The Bible says that the angel told Mary to fear not. Agano linasema a malaika walimweleza Mariamu ili asiogope. As the day Today God is telling you to fear not. Hata leo siku ya leo Bwana anakuambia usiogope. God is telling this church the young and the old alike fear not. Anaeleza kanisa wakubwa na wachanga msiogope. Why should I not be troubled? Mbona nisifadhaike? Why should not should I not fear? Mbona nisiogope? He saying that you have found favor with God. Anasema umepata kibali mbele ya Bwana. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I am here to tell the church. Niko hapa nieleze That church fear not. It does not matter what you have gone through. It does not matter the wilderness that you have gone around. But God is saying that fear not. Because we have found favor with him. Not favor with men. Not favor with church. Not favor with the person preaching. Not person with the not favor with the government. But we have found favor with God. Favor with God. Favor with God. Favor with God. If we have the favor of God. Who can be against us? Praise the Lord. If we have the favor of God. Who can stand against us? Praise the Lord. We have found favor. We have found favor. We have found favor as a church. We have found someone who can fix all our cracks. He can fix all our cracks. Does not matter how big it is. It does not matter where it's running across. But one thing that I know is that we have God. And we have found on favor with him praise the lord today we can walk as a church people who have been favored by god people who have been favored by god people who are walking in the mercies of god a church who is walking on the grace of god praise the lord we have that god in our midst we have god God in this church we have that god here with us and today he's going to do things that you cannot understand anaenda kufanya mambo ambayo wewe hauwezi elewa he's going to do great things in this church anaenda kufanya mambo maajabu kanisani humo he's going to fight our battles anaenda kupiga vita vyetu i can see him fighting our battles namuona anapiga vita vyetu i can see him standing for us namuona anatusamehia i can see him fighting the fights that we could not understand namuona anapiga vita ambazo hatungeweza i can see him doing things that we cannot understand What do we need to do as a church? We need to let God take our life. We need to take let God take our life. We need to let God take all our pain. We need to let God take all our losses. And to use it for his own glory. Na tumie kwa utukufu wake. And to use it for his own glory. God can take what you have been going through. Bwana ile nasikua kila ambacho unapitia. Na sasa yenyalo kaogi moro bisebedo kaigino. Bwana anaweza chukua kitu ambacho imekuwa kikikuumiza.
Wanyalo kao chandruok msebedo kai kaleno. Wanachukua dhiki ambayo umekuwa ukipitia. Wanyalo kao which what msebedo kama kino. Wanachukua ibu ambayo imekuwa imechukua. Wanyalo tio gigi msebedo kama which what no. Wanatumia kitu ambacho imefanya kikupea ibu. Mondo nyinge ogende ma mondo yududuo. Jina lake alipata utukufu. He can transform your life. Anaweza badilisha maisha yako. He can transform this church. Anaweza kubadilisha kanisa. He can transform everything in your life. Anaweza badilisha chochote maisha yako. Only if you can believe in him. Na utamini kwake. He is the same God of yesterday, today and forever. Yeye ni Mungu yule wa jana, leo, mpaka He is the God who changes not. Yeye Bwana asiyebadilika. Even today is going to do something that you could not understand could happen in your life. Hata leo atatenda kitu ambacho haukuamini ninaweza tendeka maishani. Kai nalo maana yeye yeye amebolria mbele ya Nyasaye. Kama unaweza amini na unyenyekee mbele yake Bwana. Kai nalo yeye yeye amebolria tia msalaba Waweza kubali na unyenyekee chini ya msalaba wa Yesu. Kama utimo badi ni wachi ni nyasaye ina minyalo. Kama unaweza inua mikono useme Bwana wewe ndio unaweza. Kinyalo nyisheni ya ngeo ni ina minyalo fix all the cracks in my life. Naweza muambia na jua wewe ndio unaweza kutengeneza nyufa maisha yako. Kinyalo nyisheni ya ngeo ni kamora mora mose baro rengi mana ina minyalo loso. Naweza mueleza na jua popote ambacho kimepasuka wewe ndio unaweza tengeneza. Wani nyasaye manyalo loso kama baro rengi. Naye Mungu ambaye anaweza tengeneza mahali penye penye pasuka. Ubedo ni dalae mobarore wani kinyasae manyalo jongo dala nokendo. Hata kama boma limepasuka tu naye Mungu ambaye anaweza tengeneza boma. Ubedo ni nyitinda mobarore inasae nyalo choko nyitindo machakduo girikendo. Hata kama watoto ndio wamepasuka Mungu anaweza wasanya na waleta kwako. Ubedo ni ndoa e mose barore nyasae nyalo kile kendo machakobedi gima mio nyinge duo. Iwe ndoa ndio imeharibika Bwana anaweza tengeneza na iwe ndoa jipya tena. Obedi ni pesa goala emosekepore. Nyasae nyalo kelo kendo. Iwe pesa na biashara ndiye maharibika. Mungu anaweza leta tena. Ikechondiki ni gimora mora madano knyal. Nyasae manyasachu watu nyalo. Sababu imeandikwa totote binadamu awesi. Mungu wetu anaweza. Ongegi matek manose tamne manokele manotame. Hakuna kigumu ambacho aliletewa ikamshinda. Wanyalo bedo matek ne jodala watu kotek ne Yesu. Inaweza kuwa ngumu kwa watu wako wetu lakini sio kwa Mungu. Wanyalo bedo matek ne jo kanisa watu kotek ne Yesu. Inaweza kuwa ngumu kwa wana kanisa na sio kwa Yesu. Wanyalo bedo matek ne ngata ngata to kotek ne Nyasaye. Inaweza kuwa ngumu kwa kila mtu lakini kuwa kwa Yesu. Wani Nyasaye manyalo gikmoko duto. Naemu Mungu ambaye anaweza yote. Wani ginyasae maloso gikmoko duto. Naye Mungu ambaye anatengeneza yote. Wani ginyasae matimo gikmoko duto. Naye Mungu ambaye anatenda yote. Nataka uono nyalo timo ne ngima ngato. Hata leo anaweza tendea maisha yetu. Nataka uono nyalo timo ne odi ngato. Hata leo anatendea manyumba yetu. Nataka uono nyalo paro dala ngato. Hata leo anaweza kumbuka boma ya mtu. Nataka uono nyalo paro odi ngato. Hata leo anakumbuka boma la mtu. Nataka uono nyalo paro tiji ngato. Hata leo anaweza kumbuka kazi ya mtu nataka uono nyalo paro nyetingato hata leo anaweza kumbuka mtoto wa mtu nikeshe ni nyasaye maoklokre sababu ni yeye Mungu abadiliki ende uone teko giloch duto na nguvu yote na mamlaka ni zake loch giteko gin mage nguvu na mamlaka ni zake loch giteko gin mage nguvu na mamlaka ni zake loch giteko gin mage nguvu na mamlaka ni zake ende moti mogi kumadano kunyalo timo yeye anatenda binadamu awezi yeye nyasaye maduong Ye ndio Mungu mkuu kuzidi. Jehova yenyenge. Jehova ni jina lake. Jehova yenyenge. Jehova ni jina lake. Ni motimo gikma kwa nyalo timo. Ye ndio anafanya vitu ambavyo tuwezi. Oh, do God pack mododog na nyasaye. Mkufu na nguvu zimrudia Bwana. Kaono nyalo mulongato. Leo anaweza kuza mtu. Kaono nyalo loso ngima ngato. Leo anaweza tengeneza maisha ya mtu. Kaono nyalo miongato duo kirekeno. Leo anaweza fanya mtu arudi kwake. Nikeche Nyasaye mangima sababu yeye ni Mungu aliyai. Yeye ni Nyasaye mara tena. 
Mungu mo kulokre. Ye ni Mungu jabali asio badilika. Ye ni ngasai mapoko la chakro kumar pe. Ye ni Mungu mbaja wai badilika. Ye ni manga lota mo nyasai mawalamo. Ni ni ambo inezamzui ya Mungu mbatu na Mungu. Ye ni manga lota mo nyasai manga sachwa. Ni ni ambo inezashira Mungu Mungu wetu. Na wano nyasachwa no niti. Leo Mungu wetu yupo. Na wano nyasachwa no ngema. Leo Mungu wetu yuai. Watch nengi makendo tio. Ni nolake yuai na natenda kwa. Na wano watch no nyaloti nengi manga. Kato nyalo manyo Yesu gichunya duto Kati umtu aneza tafta mungu na moyo wake wote Yesu no ikore mondo timne ngato kangato machalre Yesu amejanda kutendea mtu kufunana Kawono nyalo mako badi ngato Tiyo mato uono Mikono ya mutu Kawono nyalo timone ngato gimore kanisaka Leo aneza tendea mutu kitu apra kanisani Oh hallelujah hallelujah Oh hallelujah Reke mo shaka ya ndara babosha Utokufu kwa ke buwana Reke po Shoko yanda katara bausha. Sante bwana Yesu.